Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's talk about cat grass, cat jungle, cat grass jungle. Hi, oh, I got a friend. Are you my friend or do I have something you're interested in? <laughs> this is Booby. Hey Booby, come on over. There he is. <laughs> okay, seriously, I want to talk about crack cat. Seriously, what I want to talk about is how you can actually grow cat grass at home really easily. I didn't know how to do this. I learned about it a few years ago, and I wasn't doing it all the time. I was buying those little containers that you get at the store. These things, like this right here. So this actually was one that I had bought in the store, okay? But then I saved this little container here, and this is the stuff that I planted, actually. And it's old. This is like a, about a week old, and he's been you know, using it and stuff. And you can see how lush and tall it is. So it's actually really easy. So he has this thing where if there's cat grass on the ground or something, but if I have this in my hand here, like if I have this, uh, oh, ah, let me lock the keyboard quickly <laughs> before we start deleting files. <laughs> okay, so if I have cat grass uh, in my hand like this and he sees I have it, he'll like sometimes come to me as if it's the only grass in town, even if there's a big jungle on the floor. Hello, hi, look at this good guy. Look at this good guy. Now I have heard from a veterinarian um, that, I, that I believe is correct about this, is that you know cat, cats don't normally eat grass in the wild. I, I don't really know how true or false that is uh, comprehensively, but she mentioned that it usually is a sign of a diet deficiency of some kind. And so um, I, I've never been able to really find any magic with his diet in that regard. I mean, he eats wet food now, and uh, it's just he still wants his cat grass. I think there's just something about cat grass for an indoor cat that just gives them a little sense of being outside and maybe brushing their you know little nose and kind of ricochet doesn't chew and eat it big time like he eats a little bit of it i think but he mostly is kind of gnawing on it and then like just rubbing against it and chewing it and just having a little sort of outdoorsy relationship with it so you can talk to your vet and find out if cat grass is okay or whatnot uh, she didn't say that it was not good she actually recommended a prescription diet uh, ricochet kind of liked that diet but it was dry kibble so we don't really use that heavily anymore but um I felt the input she gave about that seemed, it sounded like it, it, it was it was correct, but I just don't, I don't have all the science on whether cat grass is good or bad for cats. I just know that Ricochet wants it. I always refer to something like in these areas, like for example, uh, George Burns. Most of us, you know, even if you're in a new generation, you probably heard of George Burns and he was a comedian. And I believe he passed away sometime in the late 90s. And he was close to, he was either 100 years old. I think he might have reached 100 or something. Anyway, he used to smoke cigars a lot. And this is not, I'm not trying to say that cigar smoking is good or whatnot. But every time I think about that, um, I think about like, you know, he allowed himself to enjoy something in life that may not be healthy. And I don't think that that's good, you know, for everybody necessarily, right? But it's a choice he made, right? And it's something that gave him something and somehow it worked for him. Maybe he just had good genes. Maybe it was the way he smoked. Maybe he was just lucky. I have no idea. But what I feel is I don't have the answer about cat grass for my cat ricochet. And what I know is it's maybe kind of like his cigar, you know, like if he enjoys it, let him have it, right? You know, he's dealing with this heart condition. And it gives him, you know, he's in this apartment all the time. I, I have, you know, I, I'm not so sure apartments are the best place actually for cats, even though we all do it. You know, there's so many domestic cats and, and they get a chance to having a nice life in the apartment and stuff. But it is confined, even if you have a nice size apartment or something. Uh, I think for a cat like Ricochet, I mean, I could easily see him, you know, going on top of a barn and, you know, walking, you know, up trees and doing something. He's a very active and kind of strong cat, even though he's not huge or big. Uh, you know, squirrels are very small, but they're extremely active. And Ricochet has that metabolism. It's, you know, almost squirrel-like in some sense. That's why I named him Ricochet. When I first adopted him, I couldn't keep track of him. I'd play with a toy and he'd have it in his mouth before I could even know what I was doing. You know, I mean, he was just so fat. So I've always felt that like 
you know, when if you have a pet indoors, you you got to be aware of it and try to make it interesting. And even though I think I've tried to do that to some extent, it's hard. It's very very difficult because. Uh, you know, I just think that they can easily get bored, you know, and you have to constantly make efforts and uh, and, and just try to do different things. So even a, an apartment which is, you know, decent, like Ricochet has a lot of ramps and things here and stuff, I would say, you know, that's nice and everything, but it's still not the same thing as having some kind of yard that he can go run in and stuff like that. So I sort of feel like if he wants to romp around in some cat grass inside and that makes him happy, then, you know, I don't look at it as a big deal. And we've been doing it for years. And um, they sell cat grass in the pet store and I never hear them talk about diet deficiency there. Although that doesn't necessarily mean what that vet said was incorrect. And, um, you know, it sounded like it could be plausible. I don't, I don't know what the science is on that. Anyway, bottom line is if you want to use cat grass, you might want to talk with your vet about it. I'm not promoting it. I just do it for my cat. This little cat grass, if you've ever gone to a pet store, these things can cost anywhere from three to five dollars. And sometimes you can go to the store and it's like five dollars and it's really like brown and scraggly and it's not even fresh. You know, sometimes it's fresh. It just depends on day of the week you go and maybe they have the last ones there or something. So here are the seeds that I bought. Years ago, I bought a kit from a, a website called Wheat Crap. Uh, so years ago, I bought a kit from a, a site called wheatgrasskits.com. And they have a cat, like a cat kit or a pet kit or something like that that has like trays and things like that and seeds and all that kind of stuff. And I bought that starter kit years ago and and they have videos online that show you how, like how to make the cat grass and all that kind of stuff. Basically what I do is I take these seeds and I pour them into some water and I let them sit there for 8 to 12 hours. I think it's like if it's cold weather you let it sit for 12 hours. If it's warmer weather like 8 hours. I don't remember the exact instructions so you'd have to go and and look at the online thing. And then after letting them soak in water, I will uh, take a tray filled with like potting soil and I'll actually um, uh, wet it down, like put some water on it. And then I'll take the seeds, I'll drain the water that they were soaking in and then I'll take the seeds and I'll spread them around in the tray. After I spread them around in the tray, I'll take paper towels or old newspaper or something like that and put it over the top and wet that part. So I keep wetting that every day or every time I feel like it's getting kind of dry. And it stays like that for like about, oh, I don't know, like a few days. And it starts to rise as they start to sprout. And like within three, four or five days or something, I can take that thing off because the grass is starting to come up. And then I make sure I put it in indirect sunlight or in, in like cloudy light, you know, that is not such direct hot sunlight and it starts blooming and it starts getting really green and uh, ricochet loves it you know it's like a it's like a little uh you know it's like a little you know jungle like a wheatgrass jungle i make the big you know square one like the one i just had a second ago and uh, it's really nice now i can take that big square and i can actually cut a piece out and put it in here or i can actually grow some right in here and i just got a big bag of potting soil so i just go down there and just grab a handful or you know use this thing as a scoop and scoop it up and put it inside the container and stuff like that when i grow this stuff at home it's like really really easy to to deal with and um, all i have to do is uh, just follow all the steps it starts sprouting I, I have a little trough outside that i can put some in out there and then ricochet can go outside on the balcony and he can like just nibble and put his nose in all of this grass along a trough you know which is a really nice you know thing for him to be able to do like i can just keep this bag of seeds sitting there on my counter and i can be like oh you know it's time to sprout some and I can just throw it in water so if I do that in the morning I can come back later at night and I can just drain the water put it on top put the newspaper on top there wet it down it's hardly any work I feel so anyway just a little tip I just wanted to share if you like this video uh, I hope you'll click like it if you want to subscribe um, I hope you'll subscribe all right that's it thanks hope you guys are doing well have a great week